hello and welcome back and that is right today i want to talk about 10 gbe or 10 g or 10 gb or 10 gigabit ethernet it goes by many many names and i'm sure at least one of those has annoyed someone for them to complain about it in the comments but 10 gigabit ethernet and nas goes together like a horse and carriage it's brilliant it comes down to it nice and simple that when you have a network attached storage device you're sticking lots and lots of different hard drives or ssds inside all of which are capable of several hundred megabytes of performance you raid them all together and then suddenly you've got the potential for something great but given a lot of network attached storage devices have 1 gbe or 2.5 gbe as standard you always feel like you're getting a bit throttled a bit bottlenecked and that's why 10 gigabit ethernet becoming exceedingly more affordable and more available is such a good thing network attached storage devices that are starting to arrive with 10g on board as well as 10g switches arriving for just one or two hundred dollars mean that most home users now can adapt and integrate this enormous amount of bandwidth into their home office environments and even big you know mid-range businesses getting on board as well very very affordably and in today i'm going to talk in today's video i'm going to talk about my three recommended 10 gbe nazis that you should buy at the start of 2022 now 10g nazis aren't new 10g nazis have been around now for years i'd say the affordable desktop 10g nazis started arriving on the scene about 2000 15 maybe give or take that's been six or seven years of releases and that's a lot that is hundreds of solutions that are still available to buy today from about 10 to 12 mainline brands so to narrow this down to three is going to take some rules and these are my rules to narrow those hundreds and hundreds of nazis to a more approachable amount and then i'm going to pick my favorite three so first and foremost if you're looking at a 10G solution, whether you're going to use the software that's included or not, I think because a lot of these brands generally price up 10G solutions because of their bandwidth and capability, the result is I think if you are going to look at a 10G NAS, it should support all of what the NAS brand says their brand is capable of. None of the solutions I'm going to talk about today are only going to support some of the services. They have to support all of them or they're not included. Secondly, they've got to have applications for mobile platforms, desktop platforms. They've also got to be supported on any web browser. They've got to be supported by Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, um, Ubuntu, Linux, that sort of thing. They have to be supported on all of them. There have to be applications for multimedia. There have to be applications for um, backups and file management. There have got to be applications for things like clicks, if you want to go down that road for fun. There's got to be a few surveillance. There's got to be containers or virtual machine applications ready and available and whatever you look at it these solutions have to push out guaranteed 10g i'm not going to look at two bay 10g solutions because they struggle to give you 1000 megabytes per second they have to push out 1000 megs with the available st storage at even a min min minimal level these solutions if i populated them with two tb hard drives i still want them to push out a thousand megs so they're better so when it comes down to it, that is what we're looking at. These are the solutions that for reasons of budget, for reasons of scalability, or for reasons of power are my favorite three. So let's crack on and go through the results. By far, one of the most value, and by value I mean not just cheap, but great what you're getting for your money solutions in terms of 10G, goes to Terramaster, the incredibly budget brand that we talked about before. Um, they have been a NAS brand in the background that have had one of the fastest evolutions of all the brands I've talked about. Um, when I was going for my best a value for money budget solution. I gotta say, it was a toss up between this, the Terramaster F5422, and the um, Asus Store series of Locker Store NASes or the um, AS40 series they released back in 2019. These solutions, I was really cross between them, but for me, the Terramaster just carried it over the line for me because it's a 5 by 10G solution that's knocking around for about $500. And if you look at a lot of four and five base solutions with Intel CPUs inside, in this case a quad-core um, J4125 processor with four gig of DDR4 memory, 
If you look at all of those solutions, they all knock around for $500 or so with no 10G on board. This stayed in that price level, stayed in that architecture and had 10 gigabit ethernet there on board. It's not the most awe-inspiring NAS in terms of software. It does provide first or third party solutions to all of the services I mentioned earlier, but they are all inclusive. And if you are looking at a 10G solution, you're real low on the budget, but you're looking for 10G and you want to use it with your native software and you want the NAS to just be a target that you work with, this is a great choice. Because although the software is, is better than it was, it still doesn't rival the top end DSM from Synology and QTS from QNAP. But as just a simple target via MAP storage, iSCSI, or a simple synced drive, it's a great choice for you budget buyers out there. Next up, I want to get innovative. Next up, I want to look at a solution that left me genuinely perplexed all the way through to impressed. The QNAP TSH973AX. And forgive me, it's a bloody weird NAS. It is a solution that has 10GBE, but it has a bunch of other innovative offshoot pieces of hardware choice all rolled into one of the most unique chassis I've seen in a number of years. Now, the 973AX knocks around for about $1,100 to maybe $1,200 unpopulated. For that, you're getting a five hard drive bay NAS that also has two SATA SSD bays and two NVMe U.2 storage bays as well. It is a nine bay storage system with three storage tiers that can either be utilized independently with three different storage areas with a hard drives all raided together capable to get hit that 1000 megs easy the two SATA storage bays can probably reach about six seven hundred megs and the U2 bays a thousand easy those three storage bays can be utilized independently they can be used for tiered storage and caching in QTS um, they can be utilized in a number of crossover ways. They can have their own storage areas or combine together beautifully. The system also supports ZFS, Zettabyte file system, for much faster performance, faster responsiveness, lower latency, quicker RAID builds, RAID resync, and RAID resilvering, just all pumped up to the max. It also has, alongside that 10 GBE port, two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports as well bringing this system up to a potential 15 gigabit or 1500 megabytes per second external connectivity there it also has usb 3.2 gen 2 for faster external drive connectivity for backups in either direction it's a beast of a nas and in its compact form it's actually one of the smallest nases for its scope on the market and a number of people who buy 10 gigabit ethernet NASes tend to go for six or eight bays and higher because they need that hard drive spectrum but this having five bays is a lovely middle ground for many with those SSD bays allowing you multiple super fast storage areas to work with the software is also significantly more evolved than the TerraMaster software we've talked about with pretty much an entire an entire library of first party applications to get everything done. When it comes to buying a 10GBE NAS, there are much more powerful QNAP 10GBE NASs out there. There's also more affordable, low power 10GBE NASs from QNAP out there. But this one is the sweet spot for those that want 10G software, hardware, and to get the job done. And my final choice is the complete. 10G solution. It's user friendly. It has tremendous bandwidth with two 10G ports on board. It has tremendous storage capabilities. It has great software, warranty support, scalability, and it is one of, if not the best NAS that Synology have ever put out the late 2021 released DS3622 XS Plus. We're going to be talking about this NAS from them for years. It is, there's just nothing it doesn't have. It's not cheap at $3,000. You know, get your checkbook out. My God, checkbook 2022. But it is not a NAS that will let you down. This system arrives 
Let's look at the inside. A six core Xeon processor, which is a little dated as a CPU released at the end of 2015, but it's a server grade CPU, the Xeon D1531. That six core processor there also arrives with um, 16 gig of DDR4 ECC memory that can be upgraded up to 48 gig of storage uh, of memory there. In terms of storage, it's a 12 bay, so I can't even show it on one hand, oh, on two hands. It's a 12 bay solution. Now, that is already going to max out a 10G port. Luckily, this has two 10G ports there on board. That is enough storage to fully saturate over 2,000 megabytes per second. It also has, alongside that, a couple of 1G ports, just cause. Um, also, the system has a PCIe Gen 3 x 8 upgrade slot that allows you to add more 10G ports, add fiber channel FC 25 gigabit ethernet cards there. There is an enormous amount of scalability on this solution too, with the ability to add two 12 base solutions either side, giving you a potential 36 maximum drives. If you look at 20 TB drives right now, that means a incredible 720 potential terabytes of storage just crazy town now on top of that this system also has five years of manufacturer's warranty as well so it's got longevity it has scalability it has upgradability it's a solid solution if i had to neg it in any way i've got to say one it's a bit pricey and also the hard drives and upgrade cards that could be utilized with it have to be and memory too have to be Synology first brand. It has a much stricter support of upgrade cards and upgraded features on it that are all in house. But if you want to buy a solution and keep things in house, that's probably going to be all right for you. Also, Synology software is by far the best NAS software in the market. QNAP are close, fair play to them relative to everyone else. But Synology just still nail it with first party applications for that replace not only business applications in terms of migration of data and iSCSI and stuff like that, but with Synology Drive, Synology Calendar, Synology Chat, um, so just so um, many, the collaboration suite of Synology Office, surve Surveillance Station being so involved, Synology Virtual Machine Manager inside, there's just... Uh, so much work that's gone into the complete package that is this NAS that it has to be, if not, you know, the best 10G NAS, then certainly the best NAS that Synology have ever released in desktop form. But those have been my three best NASs to recommend at the start of 2022. Now, bear in mind, if you're watching this in the future, summer 2022, is it sunny? Is the pandemic still a bit of a pain in the bum? Let me know in the comments. But right uh, by that point there may be better solutions out there so if you're watching this in the summer maybe check out some of my other videos since then because i'm sure i've looked at other great solutions between now at the end of 2021 and there in the future if you want to learn more click subscribe and the bell to be notified as we go through more and more of the best solutions for home and business users in nas click like if you've enjoyed the videos it helps me understand what i'm doing right and makes each video better than the last and do take advantage of the free advice section over on nas compared as well as the article where we break down how we pick these three nases below just down there in the description and again that free advice section we don't do anything with your email doesn't cost you anything this donate buttons use them ignore them it's unbiased advice from two humans it might take us an extra day or so to answer you because it gets quite busy but we try to answer everyone thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time